Once again, the power of levels have been proven and see the dollar index achieved 109.5. Recall last week's analysis, I told you very specifically 110 and 109.5. This is going to be the major support zone. Once it draws below 112, 111.5, you can expect it lending till 110 and 109.5. Precisely, it has achieved 109.5 and bounce back and close over 110 now what to expect from dollar index next week whether it is going to continue with the crash or we can see a rise we can see a bounce whether we should buy or we should sell from at what levels we will decide the strategy for next week with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit so do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the next analysis and the daily analysis on major forex major markets and commodities as well on the daily basis now also i See why this analysis on dollar index is important because this also helps us pick up the trend for major forex, major commodities and major indices as all have some or the other link with the dollar. So let's start. Do watch till the end. Towards the end, I'll give you the trading levels and analysis. Now let's have a look at the daily charts. Now look at the daily charts why 109.5 is important I told you this was the consolidation zone before after which the rally has resumed higher highs then higher lows then lower highs and now lower lows so yes it has come back to this level because below this the next support is directly at 108 only so if it breaks below 109.4 or 109.5 next week certainly you can expect it to drop till towards 108 but look at the last Two days performance after achieving the lows it has tried to recover a bit and see it has achieved the highs out there and also if you look at the trend which is see higher highs higher lows lower highs lower lows so it is definitely a downward tre downward trend which is prevalent here now the highs of this channel are somewhere here at around 113 which is going to be the next critical resistance zone and precisely once again if you see it trading above this zone at 112 and 113 certainly that is a zone where it is going to get maximum resistance so till the time next week it trades above 110 certainly you can expect bullishness and again the support at 109.4 9.5 should come into picture below that only one can expect that the bearish trend may continue yes you can sell at 110 and expect it to drop for 109.4 9.5 below that you can remain short on the dollar index and then you can expect it to achieve 108 levels now this is on the daily charts let's also have a look at the four uh, uh, weekly charts on the weekly charts see this is the highs out there it is created a wall and then since then it has reversed now if you pick the trend from there lower highs lower lows and the bottom there is still far away at around 108 which is going to be the maximum support zone now if it breaks 108 then you can expect that we are looking forward to a sharper reversal in the dollar price now at the same time look at the bull run here it is trying to trade in this channel and see the bottom there precisely achieving the bottom it has reversed now i will expect 110 levels to again provide the support for next week and breaking below which certainly more bearishness to pitch in else it can try to reverse again and if it breaks past 113 you can expect that it is going forward to fly high again 115 116 levels cannot be denied so be careful of 110 again this is the bottom of this channel breaking below which 110 and 109.5 certainly you can expect that the bearishness may prevail 108 105 levels in the near future cannot be denied here so this is one part on the upside 113 should be taken care of and should be taken very seriously now look at the monthly charts the month is about to close and you can find out it is forming a flag formation lower highs higher lows and yes it has precisely achieved the lows out there that you can see these levels precisely at 109.5 which it has achieved recently and the lower highs at 114 so what to expect next month now see it may try to consolidate a bit next month also 113 110 levels should be the trading range and any breakout above and below the next month that is the month of November consider it for a good reversal trading below 110 certainly you can expect that we are looking forward to 108 and 107.5 levels this is going to be the next maximum support and it, the next next month if it continues to drop from there we are looking forward to 105 levels this is going to be the next destination 105 and 100 before it tries to retrace a little on the upside now see the formation on the charts here on the monthly charts now this is an extremely bullish formation it is still looking upwards remember this fact it is still looking upwards till the time it trades above 110 next month that is the month of November you can consider that we are looking forward to a bullish 
we are uh, considering it to remain bullish and then it can show you a breakout on the upside it can show you a very strong breakout on the upside and can continue with the bullish momentum hence you have to remain careful now we have seen the charts on the four hour charts also let's have a look before we proceed to the indicator see the bottom out here reversing and yes 111 levels now giving it a resistance beyond 111 certainly 111.8 and 112 and then 113 levels to be seen so you can buy there at 111 expect it to rise more beyond 111 certainly more bullishness to be seen at the same time below this zone at 110.2 you can sell there and expect 110 and 9.5 and below that it may continue with the downward trend see on the 4 hour charts after this zone of consolidation the sharp drop is in seen now retracement and if it continues to trade in this bearish channel it may try to achieve for the lows and then you can expect that we may see a breakdown so yes you have to remain cautious of 111 next week certainly trading above which you can remain bullish now we have seen the charts let's say also have a look at the indicators what do the indicator suggest you can see on the 4 hour charts it is trading at the bottom there it is trading below the median of the Bollinger Bands it is trading below the 20 50 100 moving average indicating bearishness the directional movement is also certainly bearish the stochastic is falling from the cliff cliff probably we can see a little more drop and it may try to cool down a bit the MACD is in bullish zone it is trying to see the highs and probably trying to converge again let's see if it does RSI is comfortable on the 4 hour charts but the most important is the daily charts now look at the daily charts see now the dollar index is trading below the 20 and 50 period moving average but the 100 period moving average definitely has a good support zone on the upside 112 112.2 this is also the 20 period moving average and the greater resistance zone so trading above 112 you can expect 113 and beyond that if it trades we can expect it to fly again see drop lower highs and then if it breaks past this we can expect a double top here and then beyond that it may continue with the upward journey hence you have to remain cautious of 111 first you can buy there at 111 expect to achieve 111.8 112 and then beyond that we can see 113 and it, beyond that a reversal to be considered on the downside below 109.5 certainly one can remain short directional movement is bearish trying to converge stochastic is oversold on the daily charts and hence a rise on the upside cannot be denied the MACD divergent and bearish here it is trying to converge RSI looking upwards indicating little bearishness and if you look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts the support there on the downside at 108 levels is strong and this is also the 20 weeks average and below that only certainly more bearishness to be seen so far if you look at the performance look at the divergence here 50 period 100 period and the 20 period moving average all diverging indicating bullishness there and this is also indicating bullishness in the dollars performance and yes probably it may continue with this look at the divergence on the direction moment up down up down up down is still a divergent and this time probably for the first time it is trying to converge more closer than what we had seen earlier hence you have to remain cautious and if you look at the stochastic this is looking downwards vertically it was overbought the MACD is also on the verge of a bearish cross and after long it is trying to cross over probably falling from the cliff probably it may try to show you a little bearishness if it continues to show you the downtrend here the RSI looking downwards indicating little more bearishness it was over and look at the monthly charts it was trading outside the Bollinger Bands and that is why we can see a cons consolidation candle here and possibly if it is bullish it may try to break again on the, on the upside on next month you have to be careful in between 110 and 113 levels this is going to be a good consolidation the directional movement trying to converge it was extremely diverge here extremely bullish here trying to converge from here RSI stochastic trading overbought and hence little bit of cooling can be expected the MACD is divergent and bullish it has seen the peak probably it must start to converge from here hence a little bearishness can be expected RSI looking downwards this is extremely overbought and this we are seeing after months on the dollar index it was 2015 when it has gone to such extremes so yes uh, it appears things are overbought here and hence a little bit of cooling can be expected the next month you have to remain cautious of 109.510 levels certainly trading below which you can remain short on for the month of November, you can expect 108, 105 levels. Now, for the next week, the key levels which you should note and where you should take a position, I am going to give you where to buy, where to sell and where it is going to get the resistance. Now, watch these and note down these levels. 
Also, before we proceed to the levels, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you can join my mentorship batch. The 16th batch starts on 7th of November. Be a part of it. Don't miss out this opportunity to learn because see, before you apply for a job or business, you should have a degree with you. And this is trading, which is an ocean. And definitely, if you are getting to learn the strategies where you can definitely make profit, you can. You must invest in your learning first before jumping into the ocean. And hence, join my mentorship batch. It starts on 26th, uh, 7th of November. This is going to be the 16th batch. Also, you can be part of my signals group where we trade all the major markets and commodities. Where trading as per the levels, definitely you can benefit. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description where you can ask any query related to your trading or training needs. Else, become a pattern or provide super thanks. The pattern site link is also mentioned in the channel and video description. Now, next week, if you see it, see only buy position I will recommend is hundred eleven. That is the only buy position beyond which certainly bullishness will be seen, and then you can expect that it is going to rise. We can expect hundred eleven point four three, hundred eleven point eight six, and then hundred twelve levels. This is going to be the maximum resistance zone at hundred twelve. Beyond that, because it is going to take another dollar, another point. Complete point for it to get the next resistance zone. However, in nearby you can expect hundred twelve point three three and hundred twelve point six. Beyond that, it is directly going to land to hundred thirteen. This is the next maximum resistance zone. So if it breaks beyond hundred thirteen, sky is the limit this time. It may try to achieve hundred fourteen and hundred fourteen point four levels. Beyond that, all time high should be seen. So take your positions accordingly. Only beyond hundred thirteen, you can consider that it's it is trying to trade bullish. And yes, a buy level above one hundred eleven, one hundred twelve, and one hundred thirteen. These are three key levels here. On the downside, I will recommend a sell entry, which should be taken at around one hundred ten levels. Breaking below one hundred ten, certainly you can sell there. See, complete one dollar. I am avoiding it. I am completely. Uh, Eliminating it from the our trading levels because certainly if it breaks above and below, you can expect the bearishness. So next week you can expect hundred nine point four levels to be seen again. Very good support trading below which certainly you can remain bearish. This time one can expect it to achieve hundred eight point eight, then a little bounce back and then hundred eight levels to be seen. Hundred eight is the maximum support zone. Be careful of hundred eight. Yes, if it draws below hundred eight, it is going to trade further bearish. We may see it hitting hundred six point five. And hundred five in next few days, so you have to remain bearish till uh, below hundred eight levels. And furthermore, you can expect it to achieve hundred six and hundred five levels. So take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a tailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship batch. Join my training sessions. Join my, join my signals group. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Do do remember that markets does not. Trade as per what my bias is, but only trade as per the levels. It can show you good things also. Do not look for a direction, but look for the levels where you can execute a trade and earn profit. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading weekend. Thank you.